Hello everybody, my name is Boss Level High, and welcome back to This is the Police. Yeah, just listen to that. I don't know how to explain. I don't know the description of this music. I just know it's nice and it's peace. It's a peaceful music, but it kind of keeps you on edge for what comes next. And what comes next is This is the Police. Now let's head into it. I wish I'd have it like a little more of a transition from the music instead of just cutting the music off. It's just it's kind of like a transition, like a fade from the music and then the birds chirping in the background. Um, so what what's going on today in the news? Uh, day 12. Orthodox priest bribe mayor. What are they, what are they bribing him for? Ah, it's a wonder. Greek priest to be appointed head of Freeburg Orthodox Church. That's why he bribed the mayor. Okay, so if you read one to the other, you figure it out. Students volunteer to help farmers. Well, good for them. Good for the farmer and good for the students. That'll get them some hard-earned work in town. Uh, is they going to say anything? My morning ritual was plagued by the smell of Vicus Varga's fruity cologne. It was like the sharp citrus scent was chasing me around the house, as if Vickers was right there in my living room. When I finally realized the smell was coming from a big basket of oranges, it didn't put me any more at ease. I'd opened my door to lots of threatening mail, evidence of criminal wrongdoing, even a dead ferret or two. But fruit? Never. Never. <coughs> Who just gives people oranges? You the fruit guy? Excuse me? Was it you that brought the basket of oranges? Nah, it was here when I arrived. Fine. That it? So who are you? Today, I'm your driver. And uh, where are we driving? To work. That's it? Yeah, we have to make an important stop along the way. Where? The ranch. What ranch? Just the ranch. Sands Ranch. Fine. Fine. Yep, Sands Ranch. The morning seemed surreal, and I took in the magic. Why wreck it with meaningless chatter? As my tight-lipped chauffeur drove an hour through God knows where, I started to feel like I was in the middle of a bad dream, probably lying bloody and concussed in the alley behind the old colony club, my nose buried in a rotten orange peel. But no, this was no dream. The silence was real. The sound of the engine was real. The dust was real enough, too. And there was the ranch over the horizon. You're kind of right at it. It all seemed familiar. The Sand family's overbearing mansion has been the talk of the headlines for decades. But few have managed to get closer than a few miles. I guess I'm just lucky. Lucky or cursed. Nice book. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Sands. Nice boat. I, I do like the boat. Hello. I didn't know you took private meetings, Mr. Sand. Only if I expect good company. I'm surprised my company ranks at all. Today, yes. Today is a special day. So it seems. Do you often go to the old colony club, Jack? Every week. Meet any interesting people there? As yes. a rule? No. Sometimes you make a date, right? Sometimes make new friends. Sometimes, I guess. But that's not why I go. And why? I consider it a hobby. Hmm. A hobby? Do you know anything about my hobbies? Nope. Well, judging by the half dozen animal skins I stepped on walking over here, it's not much of a reach to say you like hunting. Love it. Well, I say that now. It seemed so tedious when I was a child. Took ever so long. But now, I'm older. I've developed a new talent. Oh, what talent is that? Patience. The will to wait for the right moment. Let's say you want a deer. You know, you deserve it. 
You've even decided what dishes its meat will go to and where you'll mount its horns. But to get that deer, you've got to wait. To sit in the bushes and stay nice and quiet. Professional hunters will tell you that the hunt is a rare craft. There are many rules. It's shrouded in mystery and ancient skill. Well, that's all complete nonsense. To get a deer, you just sit on the sidelines for a long enough time, pinpoint the moment when it's finally time to shoot. I learned the talent, Jack. But not like you, oh, Jack. You truly are the master. I don't understand. Oh, come on, Jack. I know about the half million. I know your plan. Kendrick told me everything. Ah, dang it, Kendrick. Say, I'm impressed. While some people learn to hold their breath for minutes on end and not to rustle the leaves too loudly, why you decided to just become the foliage. You turned yourself into a bush, surrounded by deer who've been so fruitfully multiplying for decades. But all this time you've held your rifle at the ready. Uh, forgive an old man his imagery, Jack. I have the heart of a poet, I confess. Look, I don't know what was said between you and Kenrick, but it sounds like you got it wrong. Oh, I think I understand everything just fine. And I think we understand each other quite well. Jack, in the coming war, we'll make excellent partners. Will we, what though? War? Will when we? war falls upon every generation. My grandfather drove out the Ambersons back when he was 27. My father destroyed that psychopath gangster, Boris Bell, when he was a sprightly 30. At 69, I'd begun to think my war had passed me over. But my time has come at last. Tomorrow, Vicus Varga declares war, and I'm obliged to answer. So, we're talking about Varga now. I don't know how he thinks. I don't even know whether he plans his actions or not. I can't divine his purpose. Hell, I don't even know where he comes from. He's a man not of our breed, wouldn't you say? But when he arrived here, I invited him in, told him we could work together. An official invitation penned in my own hand and written on some very expensive paper. And can you imagine his reply? A fruit no. basket. What sense can be made of such a message? I guess it means whatever you want it to. Precisely. I'm late for work, Mr. Sand. You know, Jack, I could just give you half a million right now. Cash, whatever denominations you like. But I would never insult you so. If I went stalking my prey for so many years, I wouldn't want someone else to shoot it for me. I understand you, Jack. And I'll never ask you for anything that's contrary to your nature. Just think about our conversation. Think about it. And call me. Contrary to my nature. My nature is not to let people get away with stuff. And that's all you want from me. That's contrary to my nature. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, contrary to nature. You've got another thing coming. Me and you, the, the war is not with Vargos. It's with me, Jack. And you got, you, you better have, you better be, don't be underestimating me. Like I me. said, it's a whole new life. And I've had to give up some old habits. One of them, keeping away from things that don't concern me. Now I can't afford the luxury. This spotlight I'm under... Concerns is all I got. <laughs> help Varkas Varga, help Christopher Sand. Uh, I'm gonna help Sand because I don't know Verkus or if he'll. I'm gonna help Sand because Verkus Varga, he might not be as willing to forgive as I've found Sand to be. And plus, my time with sand Gentleman's is almost void. up. Jack Boyd. Too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Yeah. Yes, you drunk. Price, go home. God. And then everybody else is good. Okay. Well, let's start the day. Let's know. Nice pep up in the morning. Get our nice Ludwig on. This is now prescribed by the doctor. So, we have to put this on. I don't know how this would help with stress. It's just kind of like a suspenseful, sus, sus, suspenseful thing with the 
everything building up towards it. Um, salary from City Hall. Thank you for my salary. Funeral. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. And then now we got another funeral. Hold on a second. That's just taking that song off to put that song on. Oh, it's starting it over. Take on uh, inspections. We are concerned about the low effectiveness rating of Freeburg's finest. Specially authorized inspectors have been invited to visit the department. Oh, crap. Tomorrow's gonna be the day. Don't let anything happen to him until then. Okay, so we just can't use the investigator that we still can't use. King Lewis Nightclub. We received a call from the club manager who said that a brawl broke out in the main hall involving over 20 men. Security are keeping back because some of the combatants are carrying knives. Several wounded are already lying on the dance floor, but no one knows why the man broke out. So we need a paddy wagon. We're gonna need Kochi, Yancey, Sano, the SWAT, and McDuck. Head out, man. Okay. Uh, next call. Ne next call. Can we get the ne next call? No labor market? Okay. Mafia sign, whatever. Sh shut up. No one gets with them. So it's, uh, it's, yeah, neither of them. It's the dude we gotta keep safe is on shift day. Okay. Oh, crap. Situation more serious than we thought. We're requesting reinforcements. You already have the SWAT. Uh, Chin. Uh, Austin, you go. I need Purdy and Rory to stay back for exactly that. Two teens walking the dog got into an argument, and eventually one of them unleashed the dog on the other. The police were called by a girl who's riding a bicycle nearby. Why the heck can I only send two cops to that? I mean, I only have two to send, but why is it just two cops? Holy crap. We just started the day. Well, I mean, it is afternoon, but still. Everything's going, everything's going bad. We've already had, I've got all the cops, SWAT and paddy wagon on them. Massive fight, what's the report? Offender caught, great. Officers in harm, civilians in harm. I had everything on that, almost everybody. Oh, crap. A boy struggling on the ground, barely holding off an angry dog that's trying to grab him by the throat. Pull the dog's collar, fire shots in the air, hit the dog with the taser. Uh, pull the dog's collar. The dog lets the boy escape and its owner starts to flee. Run after him, bar the girl's bicycle, order the teenager to halt. Order the teenager to halt. Yeah. Everybody's okay. Okay, y'all better hurry up. We kind of got a homicide. Yeah. Per parishioner. Uh, Mariah Serpentine? Serpentine? Reported the sounds of gunshots inside the church. A bearded man in a hat entered the confessional, and then a minute later I heard a few gunshots, and the man calmly left the booth. Took off his hat and crossed him. And, excuse me. And crossed himself and sat down on the pew. I think he's praying. And crossed himself? Is that... By and crossed himself, you mean like crossed his legs or something? What do you mean and crossed himself? And what does the paddy wagon do exactly? Uh, Coach Yancey and Austin. I need a few people. Yeah, we got Purdy and Asano. So, I keep some people back. Forgot, what is McDuck doing? Why isn't... Attempted murder at John's Hospital. Linda Howard, her words slurred, said the dentist paralyzed her face during his late, her latest visit. The monster stuck me with some kind of poison. Arrest him. Okay, let's... Y'all two go at it. 
What is McDuck and Roy doing? Why are they just not able to be used now? Uh, homicide, offender call. Officers unharmed, civilians unharmed? Yes! Loot found, non automatic weapon. We have loot now? Went to the police station, asked the mafia to sell it. Um, officer found non automatic weapon at the crime scene. What do you want them to do with it? Uh, bring it to the police station. Inspection for questioning. These officers are needed for official questioning. This will all take a few days, during which time they will be exempt from all duties. Oh, see, I'm thinking that they can catch on to me and my mafia ties through those police officers. That's why I can't use a lot of police officers with mafia stuff. So that's where McDuck and Chin and Roy is. Um, the girl was injected with normal painkillers. Wow. Wow. This Ludwig went crazy with his stuff. Um, Christopher G. Sands Ice Arena. Terrorism. An ice cream vendor noticed a suspicious black bag which has been lying unsupervised on a bench for the past few hours. Well... Why can we send everybody and the SWAT in? I don't have everybody to send in the- Oh, now I have Purdy and Asano. Okay. I mean, that would have been the last one, so I'd probably send everyone in. So far today, nothing's gone wrong. This might be our first perfect run. If I didn't just jinx everything. Come on, Austin, Coach, and Yancey do good. Officers arrived on the scene and observed that there's something moving inside the bag. Uh, open the bag. Shoot the bag until it stops moving. No, that's not what you do. Stay back until the bomb squad arrives. Stay back until the bomb squad arrives. Fender caught. Officers unharmed. Spans unharmed. Everything's good. Oh, uh, uh, hurry up and end day. Why can't we not end the day? It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Why can't we not end the day? What's going on? Yes! Perfect run? Maybe perfect run. See, Cross is the one I have to keep alive. So, I think that was a, the first perfect run. I think I'm going to have to go back and look. But I think that was the first perfect run. Corn Monument will be demolished by summer's end. Francis Kendrick won't succeed Jack Boyd. Well, duh, he's no longer here. City administration to finance dance festival. That's great. I think we had the first perfect one. Okay, Cross, you're supposed to be on, a sh on B shift, but you're getting awarded today, and then I don't have to protect you anymore. Now I can let whoever wants to do whatever with you do whatever they want to with you. Freeburg's first mafia war in, de in decades has spread chaos across the streets. Major criminal gangs vie for power and the outcome of the struggle is impossible to predict. One thing is certain, a couple of weeks from now, only one family will rule the city. Well, I'm a part of a war now, pretty much is what it's saying. Uh, funeral? Moment of silence. Ludwig, shut up! Oh uh, yeah, Jack, keep up the good work and we'll make sure your final days at Freeburg PD are much more comfortable. Oh wait, isn't this the mayor talking? Jack, keep up the good work and we'll make sure your final days at Freeburg PD are much more comfortable. No one likes you anyway. A passerby rang the police when he saw a naked man running through the streets. Pursued by a woman carrying a large kitchen knife. The woman is shouting, I'll got you! You, uh, faggot! Okay. Okay, who do we need for this? I don't know. Why is there only one woman on this whole shift? Hold up. Let me, let me get Austin and Robin. Let's get them in there.
Okay. The Sands need help. City Center. From Christopher Sam. Vargas stirred up some punks and they went and attacked one of the family. One of the family right in the barbershop. We've already sent our own men, but we don't know how many scumbags we're up against. You can come join the party, but don't get in our way. Well then how about I just don't join the party? You said you can come join the party, but don't get in your way. So yeah, I'm probably not going to join the party then. Because I don't want my own men dead. No. How did... How did Robbins die? How do I keep getting, and like, how is people keep getting get killed? Hit and run, city center. An unknown vehicle struck librarian Klimek Klinowski. And I, like, Klinowski? Hmm. Had a pedestrian crossing and drove off. The victim was found dead on the scene. Well, Beasley, you're the only person we can use. So proceed. And let me read this again. Vegas stirred up some punks, and they went and attacked one of the family right in the barbershop. We've already sent our own man, but we don't know how many scumbags we're up against. You can come join the party, but don't get in our way. How about I don't join the party? If I don't help him, would that look bad? Would that, uh... Oh, you need help again. Mr. Sands' nephew looked out his window and saw some Vargas men smashing one of his cars. Looks like someone needs to go remind them what kind of behavior is illegal. Yeah, I guess that is kind of illegal. And people are shooting at each other. So we can send Austin and Dixon to try to stop them in the name of the law. Nothing illegal. Can run. Okay. Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul Witness. This dark colored car comes tearing around the corner, hopped the curb and kept on going. Knocked the man over. Didn't even slow down. Well, Mr. Paul, thank you so much. The bartender, Jerome Alvarez. Not long before the crash, I kicked a couple of drunks out of the bar. They're, they were having a fight with some of my regulars. Mrs. Kalinowski? And your Kalinowski victim's daughter. Hmm. A few days ago, Dad had her... I'm not even going to try to do a woman's voice. I can't do it. A few days ago, Dad had a fight to work at work with a couple of young people who were causing a ruckus in the library. The whole thing almost came to blows. They threatened him before they left. Okay, Mr. Hopkins saw two people in the car. They went right by me. The man in the passenger seat had a beard. Just don't know. Just a beard. Rolando Boone, a colleague. Klimek thought he was being followed. He said he saw the guy everywhere. Said it looked like someone had some problem with him at the library. Okay, well, that's good to know. Now we know how to do it. I still can't believe Robbins died. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Dixon and Austin's back on the way home. I think classes should be done. A massacre. A girl entered Eddie's Burgers, ordered a Diet Coke, and started shooting at the other customers with a handgun. The cashier called the police, and in the background there were gunshots and screams. Meanwhile, the crazed young woman is shouting, I, I hate fat people. Okay, I think, first off, Samadhi, Gothier, and Vandal, and the SWAT need to go and head in on this one. I'm, why did I put the SWAT on? All she had was a handgun. My guys have handguns and should some of them have should should have shot, shotguns. Except, 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 can't talk today. Some of them should have shotguns. Report massacre, been caught, officers unharmed and civilians unharmed. Well, I mean everything's okay. But now I don't have the SWAT anymore. What is the paddy wagon? I can't even look at the paddy wagon stuff. So. What is it for? Is it like an ambulance or is it just a thing to hold more police? Is there police in there? Armed robber. V. Armed robbery. An alarm came in at the arm, from an armored truck. Armed men with. <coughs> excuse me. Armed men have blocked the street, shot out the armored truck's tires, and are trying to seize the bags of money. Well, that means we need you, 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 and you. No. 
No, 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 no. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Uh, probably. Uh, I was thinking class. Class. Is it class or class? 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 I have no idea. I'm not good with names. And I'm playing a game that's all about names. Like, the whole purpose in this game is just names. Okay. Okay, so the blind one. The narrow street is blocked by two vans near the armored truck. Three armed masked men have surrounded the truck, and one of them is carrying a blowtorch. On the roof of the van is a fourth criminal who shouts something to his accomplices as he sees the officer's approach. The blowtorch won't work. You'll need to use dynamite. No. Shoot the robbers who are standing on the roof of the van. You are surrounded. Surrender peacefully. Surrender peacefully. The criminals take out their automatic weapons and open fire. Retreat back down the alley, hide behind a patrol car, and fire from cover. Go on in the offensive and take them out. Yep, officers dead. We got two dead officers. But we got the offenders. Wish no one died, but what can you fight a night watchman during his rounds follows some noises to discover several homeless people fighting over a bundle that was lying on the ground how long do we have 30 something seconds well vandal and dixon can get back first and then i'll send three instead of two and then we'll have one person still home three dead in this one day this city needs to get its stuff under control seriously Class, Austin, and uh, Dixon. We'll leave the best of the best for the last of it. Why? 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 Why does everybody have to die? It's not muffin time. Hit and run. Take the okay, open investigation. Um. See, they got in the car, ran the curve, and hit the man. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we gotta wait. Say with stolen goods. Okay, so we have another investigation. There we go. Okay. Um, now, so, she's a regular? No, she meets them. Hold up. They go in, meet them, and then pay with cash. Uh, no. They meet her. Pay with cash. No, 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 no. They don't pay up front. They pay up front and not during the sale. So then they... Oh, wait. No, I'm supposed to... No bodyguard. Meet her. We receive the package. Jin Yang, owner of the wise... Yes. We know who it is. We just need to know where she's at. Okay, they need two officers... Moser is on the case, but we only have one officer to go with him. We have to have two other officers. So if it stays for the rest of the day... Oh, crap. Send him. Send him. Send him. You're going to have to wait for the sale of stolen goods. Only one something in the morning. How does somebody keep up with these times? Like, it's crazy. It's already two something in the morning. The time has gone red. Okay. Fender caught officers unharmed, civilians unharmed? Okay, nothing to do with civilians. There are no civilians around. Hurry up and end the day. The Martin Stitt. Jack? Jack? Varg is strong, but he can't compete on equal terms with the oldest criminal gang in Freeburg. Just make sure that Sand stays ahead on points, and we'll have nothing to worry about. Sands to... Vargas to... Oh, crap. This is going way deeper than I thought. Like, this is getting really deep in his up. De declare him dead. What, what, what would be the point in delaying the paperwork? Keep the body in the morgue. Alright, let's... Go home. It's in the day. Okay. No 
Okay. City crime rate increased by 31%. Mayor's nephew expresses a desire to become FPD chief. Oh no, he's going to make his own nephew the chief. Freeburg farmers report record harvest. That's good. I didn't mean to press go to work. Gosh dang it. Didn't come into work today. Didn't come into work today. Chin didn't come into work today. Yes, I told you you could. Oh, the most of those are on shift day. They didn't come into work. Uh, well, I mean, that's all I've got for this video. That's all the time I've got, at least. Um, oh, everything's going to crap. Everything's going to crap. <laughs> It's terrible. I've had so many people die, and there's been so many deaths, and it's just, it's just bad. There's been so many funerals. I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. And there's so many days left. Is that, is that how bad it is in, like, bigger cities with crime going on all the time? I wouldn't think it would be. I don't know, though. I don't know. Well... All I can say is thank you guys for being such a boss and sticking through this game so far. And uh, as you all know, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.